Hey guys, it's Ectobabble or Hillary, and um, I'm going to be going through the first fairy door journal that I made. Um, this was the first time I started um, messing with cobblestone and stuff like that, but it's also the second um, vintage photo album. Um, other than the last one I did a flip through of. This one is full of mistakes and stuff that I tried to pass off as like, oh, that's that's detail. Um, but I originally filmed this talking, but then decided, uh, no, I'll just record over it. Um, I'm kind of going over like the progression of like dealing with like tiles and windows and like kind of like the stuff I can do with like moss and everything and um uh oh and just kind of like all the different details that i can do i also got a bunch of different stuff at michael's um like these like flowers and moss things that were like 70 percent off so they were like two dollars for like a whole bouquet and they had so many different um like buds and stuff on it that I just had to go with it. Oh, okay. So this is the page uh, that I'm going to be working on. This is one of the digital stamps um, that I made. I colored it in. Um, this is a flower fairy sort of based off a lot of the floral stuff that I do. I picture either her living in it. This one would be more of like a um, mouse fairy or something or another um but the stuff where it's like more floral fairies and stuff this is the girl that I have in mind um there's a more serious one that I have in mind too but she's kind of the more like spunky um cute little fairy that I think of um with her big thick rimmed glasses and her like sort of cotton candy purple blue hair and she's just filled with flowers and she's got like leaf wings and everything um so I have that up on my Etsy um if anyone's interested but I just thought it would be a good idea to put her in the middle um because I think it really just kind of combines the pages together um especially when you put an image in the middle because it like covers the seam and it really makes it feel like a huge layout. Um, as opposed to when you have two images, I mean, you have like one image, but it's separated by the seam on two pages, like in magazines and stuff, it tends to look kind of funny. Like when you do it in junk journaling, when you put the image over it, it just sort of like makes the layout seem huge to me. So, I remember doing that in um, graphics design class when I was in high school and I thought that was a great idea. So I think the fairy kind of reminded me of the Final Fantasy character that I did in high school. Um, I never got into Final Fantasy, unfortunately, but um, I just really liked the style, a lot of the clothes and everything. Um, so that's why I did it in high school, but right now I'm kind of going through my vintage photo collection. Um, I did go through a period where I collected a ton of these vintage photographs and I just wanted to, I just wanted to collect them and sort of display them in a way, um, around my house because I find that collecting photographs of other people and other environments and how they change over time, um, for some reason helps me cope with depression a lot and so I do have like uh, collages and frames and I do want to start um, documenting all these in photo albums so maybe when I move into a house um, of my own or apartment of my own then I can sort of have a display where I have all these different photo albums of just antique photos because um, the one portrait of the woman I know is like from the 1800s. You can like see it on the back. Um, and I do have a lot of 
um, other portraits and stuff that are um, from like the late 1800s, very, very early 1900s. And I just love the color and the progression of photography. Um, I do have some stuff by um, Tsunami Rose. And so that I don't feel bad about cutting out because it's on computer paper. <laughs> um, but I did decide to turn her into a fairy too. Um, because, sorry, that's just computer notifications. <laughs> but um, I decided to turn her into a fairy too. And I was so happy because the antenna of the butterfly matched up with her head. And I was like, I gotta do this now. So I just kind of lined it up and... Yeah, that's where I decided to go with her. Um, just decided to make like a little little fairy and kind of have her hanging off the page a little bit. Normally I don't like to do that, but it just kind of felt right in that case. And now I'm just kind of playing with more floral ephemera um, because I realize I don't have that many photographs that will fit into these tiny spaces. So, oh, this one I fell in love with and I showed the back because it's just so pretty. Um, I'm trying to figure out, go with the smaller one, but I end up going with her. Um, I didn't want to cover up uh, the garden fairy, but decided to do that. And if you're going to cover it up a little bit, you might as well cover it up a little bit more so it looks on purpose. Um, and a lot of these, um, the glue that I'm putting on is avoiding the photographs in case I want to take them out later and look at the back because sometimes there's writing on the back and I do like to go back and look at those, um, which is why I showed the back of that girl that I had to put on this page. It just felt right to have her here. Um, this image is from a story called Two Bad Mice which I find hilarious because I have two mice and sometimes they are very, very good mice and other times they are very, very bad girls. So um, I just thought the dolls and the little girl represented here um, match the page, but also I just like the story it's from. And I really like mice, so I did use up the pieces that I ripped off on the page too, just to kind of give it more texture. Um, and now I'm just kind of filling up with more butterflies and other fun stuff because I want to. <laughs> there was no, like, sort of theme for this page other than the garden fairy herself and sort of um, landscapes and portraits of women. So, I don't know. I just find that very calming to me. I think I'm done. No, I'm not. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think this is the ending image that I had. Um, but yeah, I just filled up some of the spaces and yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching, you guys. Um, bye.